What is going on YouTube? Hey, new back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically in today's video, there are a few different things that we do need to go over and discuss in regards to pretty much XRP, but also looking at the other cryptocurrencies. As you guys know, XRP has seen a massive explosion in price over the past couple of days. I have the four hour pulled up. You can kind of see what I'm referring to here. Um, granted, this is a four hour so things look a bit more hectic here but in recent times after the major pump and explosion we were tracking what appears to be a symmetrical triangle forming now as you can see we're starting to trend out of this and i'm not really surprised at all because that's kind of what happens here on the four hour it's too early to tell we made it very clear in yesterday's video that we're only like two confirmations and we normally like three confirmations to pretty much confirm uh the top resistance and the and the price floor the bottom floor uh on you know technical indicators here so this was up for play we just kind of drew it on just for the start you can see we talked about this in depth in yesterday's video as you can see here, but we're going to continue from where we left off yesterday now that we have a bit more uh, candle wicks here forming and uh, just candles in general forming on XRP's charts here. So we can pretty much get a better idea as to what exactly is kind of going on here. So we'll be looking at this. We'll also be looking at Ethereum, which is continuing to play out its ascending fractal here. You can see after seeing the major drop. The major drop like this we're now starting to we broke out which is beautiful and now we're starting to see a movement to the upside and i think this is going to continue further but we'll talk about that in a minute we're then going to look at bitcoin which is still playing inside its beautiful sideways channel here coincidentally the past couple of days look almost identical to how ethereum has looked so i think that's quite interesting one two three four five you can see big drop and then small downwards big drop and then small downwards the same five day candles here so very interesting how it's all happening very similar here and then we'll look at the s p which just continues to amaze me as we're heading up higher it's just not good overall i really don't think this is something that we should be seeing consistently in the markets here now we probably had good news in regards to inflation we probably got uh cpi data for what is today's uh july so we had probably june cpi inflation data probably already came out you can see here in june the consumer price oh it increased points uh point two over the last so i wonder if we can get maybe the c uh the inflation rate fred chart just to pull it up super quick so we can get a good idea of what exactly happened over or, or i guess last month that's really what i would like to see if this would like to load otherwise uh i guess we'll look at that later on in today's video but uh, i just want to give a huge shout out to aura for sponsoring today's episode hopefully you guys remember aura from previous videos here on the channel aura is a smart simple way for online safety powered by ai it's an all-in-one protection for the whole family powered by artificial intelligence which is super cool. It keeps your online information and security safe. So, you know, you, there's lots of online hackers. People get their identity stolen and credit cards stolen all the time. Aura is a way to prevent that. And they even offer a free trial, which is really freaking cool. More information about Aura will be later on in today's video. But with that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn up post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So picking back up to where we left off, I just want to zoom in really quick on the Fred charts here. You can see we've actually done much better. Uh, it's actually incredible to see where inflation has been going you can remember the peak of june in 2022 so we can even go to july the peak was june uh and that's what we had june peak one year from from today we we were at 8.9 percent practically nine percent uh inflation on the markets and as of today we're back down to a total of three percent which is incredible so much better obviously not where we started i just want to show you for reference here where we've been in the past we usually kind of float around the 2.8 uh, maybe 1% to maybe at most 2.8%. Uh, so we're still slightly above it, but we are slowly coming back down the normal. The problem is we still have a very high core inflation rate here. You can see for the most part, the core inflation has always been fairly low. 1.7, 1.8. 2%, really not much more than that. And we're still currently at 4.8. So we are headed in a general direction. You know, we are on the down curve. We are starting to pump down uh, to the downside here. So that's a good sign. So I'm excited to see that come through, but we still have to figure out what exactly is going on. We still are sliding lower. There still is room for potentially big swings in the markets to the upside, things we don't necessarily want to see. 
but we are still headed in the right direction. That's that's all I know, and that's good. And the market, the stock market is recovering nicely from here on out. But because we're kind of entering, and I don't want to go off on a tangent here, but because we're nearing overbought, it does scream possible correction and dip in the markets here. But moving forward, looking at the uh, top 10 cryptos here, you can see for the most part, crypto is consolidating uh, for quite, you know, quite actually solid right now. We're at 1.2 trillion trading flatline for the most part at 0.59% here, flatlined out, literally flatlined out on most every cryptocurrency, at least the major ones, including XRP. Everything, everything is flatlined out. I'll zoom in. Everything has been trading sideways since the break occurred a couple of days ago here, since the news on XRP came out. But I want to focus on XRP and then I want to talk about Aura really quick. But XRP, as you guys can see, is inside this beautiful sideways channel here. And as you can see, we talked about this yesterday within the symmetrical channel that, uh, sorry, not sideways, symmetrical triangle here. Um, we only had two points of confirmation and that wasn't enough for us to, to conservatively uh, or conveniently want to buy in. It was it was too risky. So now that we have a little bit more time, we can scale this up, which is beautiful, and we can scale this as well and kind of keep moving around trying to figure out where you know these supports are, where these resistances are. You know, Still, yet again, I can't confirm or deny that this is the continuation of the sideways channel. There's definitely an uptrend here that I can confirm. The top is a bit more difficult. Like I can do without this and it looks still good because now we're leaning away to this and we are now confirming yet again only two points of confirmation in regards to a top resistance. So we don't know where the price ceiling is on the top, but we do have a solid support if that helps you guys. So you can play it aggressive if you want on the four hour and wait for us to breach through this to see another swing. You know, if we close above price ceiling here, we can long it. If we break below price floor. We can short it to the moving average, but pay attention to this because this is the focus here as to what exactly is happening. This is forming something big that could eventually cause markets to swing up or markets to swing down. But before I go any further, I do really quickly want to talk about Aura with you though. I want to give a huge shout out to Aura for sponsoring today's episode. So guys, are you tired of constantly receiving spam phone calls to the point where you don't even answer your phone anymore? Or have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see your personal information exposed on one of those public listing sites? Well, as you know, the digital world is rapidly changing and it's time to rethink how to protect yourself and your family. As we spend more time on our devices and are increasingly dependent on online services, our personal information has become more vulnerable than ever. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. There have been over 1 billion user records compromised and there have been so many leaks that people don't really have a clue how to protect themselves anymore. This puts you at risk of credit fraud, identity theft, stolen seed phrases, and even passwords. But that's where Aura comes in. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do it. So let Aura handle it for you. While many competitors offer monitoring and account tracking, Aura goes a few steps further by providing antivirus, a password manager, Manager and VPN services as well. Aura actually offers continuous monitoring of your data and will notify you quickly if it detects your personal information has been compromised. They will even help you resolve any potential fraud threats. Plus, their app can encrypt your Wi-Fi connection and protect your phone and computer from malware. Aura, at its core, is an identity theft protection company that helps people monitor their personal information to protect it from hackers, data breaches, malware, phishing attacks, and other threats to their digital security. It's an all-in-one identity, credit, and device protection system that comes with a 60-day money-back guarantee for annual plans and includes a VPN, antivirus software, and password manager. Now, on that note, they do offer three types of plans, an individual plan, a couple's plan, and also a family plan. Now, while the cost of these plans might seem higher than some competitors at first glance, as mentioned before, Aura does come with things that others don't, such as the antivirus and VPN. But on the plus side, Aura does offer a 14-day free trial period if you're skeptical or uncertain if you may need the software. But the best part about Aura is it's really easy to set up, so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and many more. You basically get everything bundled at one affordable price. And that's why it's important to let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with peace of mind. So guys, with that being said, you 
you can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can go to aura.com backslash crypto TV to start your two week free trial, which I have also linked in the description below. Otherwise, shout out to Aura for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into the technical analysis. So guys, diving back into the technical analysis in regards to XRP, this is pretty much it. It's just this is the focus here. We have to let things play out for the, mar uh, for the time being here. There's still opportunity to get in. But because this is a four-hour formation, it is much, 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 much more aggressive. And that's what you guys have to consider. Think about this in the back of your head that this is a much more aggressive approach here. We could slightly slide this down. And it does still make you know some sense here, even this would make a, a bit more sense. But ideally, even on the four hour, we are in some sort of symmetrical triangle that is playing out right here. And when this breaks, that will give us a general direction of where we can move to. But it is a risky and aggressive trade. As for Ethereum, there's a good chance that XRP could be tied up soon with Ethereum. And we could start to see a break to the upside. Reason being is every time we kind of hit this bottom, we break up hit the bottom, we break up. Here we are hitting it again. We could consolidate and then we would ideally expect to see a break a break to the upside here. As we slowly approach the support here, there's a good chance we'll dip below 50 on the RSI, which is kind of what we're doing here. And then I anticipate a, rever a strong reversal back to the upside here. That's kind of where I expect to see Ethereum move to. Same thing kind of goes for Bitcoin here. Ma major focus. This is very nerve wracking for me, but you could see this is like textbook. You know, if you ever wanted an easy entry, it would be Bitcoin and uh, XRP. I mean, and Ethereum here. But basically, this is the chart you'd want to see for an easy entry because it's pretty simple. We we confirm closure above this on the daily. It's a conservative a conservative buy in for a long position. We break below the support here. It's an easy conservative buy in for a short to the downside, down to the moving averages here, or uh, at least breaking through this price floor. So I would expect to see a drop to this level here if we confirm closure below this daily here. This sideways consolidation is not healthy for Bitcoin. Um, granted, it, well, that's, I take that back. It is healthy because as we've been playing around in the, literally the same exact price zone, we've managed to lower ourselves from 70 all the way down to 48, which gives us room to head up if that was to come. But that, what I'm saying is this is not common. And when this happens here and volume dips off, this causes, uh, you know, it hints at big runs in the market, which is what I expect to see happen within Bitcoin soon. As for the S&P, just, I'm just shocked that we want to keep heading up higher. We're literally hitting overbought. So to me, that screams correction here. So we'll see what exactly happens. But with that all being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>